Well, hi guys, I'm Tops, and with the current situation, and we, the gyms are closed and everything else, so we're going to do some home workout using our body weight and things lying around the house. We're going to do chest today, so it's mid chest, then we're going to concentrate on to the upper chest and then the lower chest. So, without any further delay, let's go, let's start. So, mid chest. Mid chest, complete beginner, someone who can't do on the toes. Go on your knees, cross your feet over here, knees together, hands shoulder width apart, hands underneath your shoulders here as well. Don't go too far there or too far close. And you don't want your bum up in the air like this. From your knee to your shoulder, you want to make a nice hand position, okay? So you have a hand of wood. Okay, so there. So this is a complete beginner. Easy. Now you're going to go on the way down to three, count of two to three. So one, two, three. Chest touch, then quick up. And as you come up, you want to try and get your elbows squeezing so you get squeezing your pecs. Alright, so, and the breathing is very important, guys. So, on the way down, breathe in. On the way up, breathe out. And squeeze. In, out, squeeze. Now when that becomes a little bit easy and you can do, I'm not going to give you any rep numbers, right? You want to do these exercises at home to the point of failure, meaning where you can't do any more, where you've just got one or two last rep left inside you. When that becomes a bit easy, you can, show you, get a rack sack, so you get a backpack, fill it up with books, or I'm going to use this leftover cleaned out milk cartons. Now I'm going to put them in there. Now you can use tin food, books, anything that will add weight to your, that would, I would say that's a good 5 6 kilograms. Put it on your back. Then back to your position and squeeze. In, out, squeeze. Now, some people might find on the way down they're being restricted by the floor. They could go further down to get more stretch on their pecs. Next level, what you're going to do is come off the floor by about 3 inches. That's about the maximum you're going to get. So there we are. And that's going to allow us to get further down and get more stretch on our pecs. So, knees. So that covers complete beginner, different stages as it gets stronger. When you can do all that with the rack sack, you're definitely ready to go to your toes. On your toes, Back technique, same as before, shoulder width apart, hands above underneath your shoulders, don't go too far forward, not too close. You don't want your bum up in the air like that. Nice and plank position. So this one from your ankle to your shoulders, plank position like that. Okay? And everything else is the same. So this is the next level up. Breathe in, out, breathe out and squeeze those pecs. Next level up, same again. You can get your back side, hands on here, ready position, looking forward, chins up, in, out, sweet. That gets too easy, get your books. This is going to allow you to go further down and get more stretch on your pecs. Right? So, So the next level up, three chairs. If you don't have three chairs, not a problem, guys. You can use a sofa or a bed, window seat, anything that's going to give you a lift on this side. And you just need two chairs on this side, okay? And you need a gap in the middle so you can go further down. So this is the next level. Make sure everything is sturdy. Breathe in. 
squeeze, head looking straight up, feel that stretch on your pecs. So this is allowing you to go further down and the ground is not restricting you. When that gets easy, get your rack sack back on, add how much weight you can. I reckon the rack sack this size, you can easily add anything up to 15 kilo that, okay? So I would say that's your most advanced mid pec push-ups. Now for the lower pecs, these are dips. Now this dip is, it works on your triceps, lats, little bit of shoulders, it's going to work really nicely on your lower pecs as well. Alright? I would normally do this with the day I'm doing my shoulders and triceps as well. Alright, so we've got two chairs like this. This is the beginner one. So feet on the floor. I'm going to slowly go down and up. Your elbows are going slightly outwards. Don't keep them too close in, or it'll be too much work on your triceps. Remember, we're working on the pecs. When that becomes too easy, so that's your complete beginner. Get your third chair back into your arm position. Feet up in from there, and you're gonna go down. So for your lower chest, you could use two chairs. And then go down and feel that lower chest. Make sure when you're doing it, you actually feel whichever muscle area you're trying to work on, make sure you can feel that area actually working, stretching, and so on. If it isn't, then obviously you need to adjust. Alright, so for this one, I'm going further down here instead of here to make sure I feel my lower pecs. So I'm leaning forward more, and then down, and feeling that stretch. You can lift one leg up, get more work on that chest. So if you've got a countertop, you can use a dining table, um, worktop, anything that's about three feet off the floor. About 45 degrees, feet together, and your hands in this position, reverse grip, not that way, and shoulder width apart, and you're gonna get your chest in, stretch, breathe in, breathe out, and squeeze those pecs. So this is working your lower pecs. And it's this area here, and it's gonna give you, so it's this area here, and it's gonna give you that lift and that cut there. When that gets too easy, you want to do, add your weight, reverse grip, feet apart, shoulder width, then squeeze, in. So we've done our mid chest, we've done our lower chest, and now we're going to do our upper chest. For this one, one chain to start off with, your beginner one. So, all your other rules apply. For your holding position and everything else. So you're lifting yourself up, and you're gonna go down, chins up, squeeze. When that becomes too easy, get your rack sack. So that does your upper chest, guys. If you want to make it more harder, I'm not gonna do it on these white rules. If you want to make it more harder for your upper chest, you want to lift this slowly further up. So if you're a complete beginner guys, you've seen the different variations of the chest exercises. The mid chest, the lower chest, the upper chest. You choose which one's appropriate for you. No reps, you do failure. Which means until you can't do anymore or you've just got one last one or two reps left inside you. Because everybody has different ability. I belong to a fitness group and we had a push-up competition. Well, it was just for bang time fun. And um, some people were doing 15, some people could do 50. So that's the reason why I'm not giving you a rep range. 
If you can do, I would say, 30 reps of any of these exercises, I would say make it harder go on to the next stage. So if you can do the flat one, I would say put the rack sack on, add a couple of kilos. If that becomes too easy, add a bit more weight and so on. So to start off with guys, I would do two sets for each region of your chest. Two sets for the mid chest, then I would do the upper chest, two sets, and then I would do two sets for the lower chest. That's a nice beginner, and you've seen the different ones. So choose wisely which one's appropriate for you. When you can do those comfortably, I'll go on to three sets, then four sets. Four sets is plenty. Four, three areas, that becomes 12 sets just on your chest. How often would I do it? At least twice a week. Three times is good. Once a week is not going to give you the gains, guys. And remember I say, 70 to 80 percent, if you want to keep your muscle and grow your muscle, is your diet, what you're eating, drinking, sleep, and all those things comes into play. The day I do my chest, I will also do my shoulders and triceps. And later on in the week, guys, I'll show you a whole uh, supersets routine for those three areas because some of the exercises does activate your triceps, shoulders, lats, and so on. So hopefully, guys, you found this video useful. Uh, please leave a like and leave a comment these videos take a long time to make and edit and upload and it will take you 10 to 15 seconds just to hit that like button and it really really helps the channel out and it really, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll catch you on another video next time.